The career of a professional gymnast is very similar to the short life of a butterfly. High intensity, exhausting, and often very traumatic training of future champions begins at the age of 5 to 6, and by the age of 20, gymnasts are usually considered veterans of the sport, then leaving for a well-deserved retirement. But today, I will tell you about a unique gymnast who proved that age means nothing at all in this sport. You are on the channel 100 Years of Sports, and we are starting. Oksana Alexandrovna Chusovatina was born in June 1975 in Bukhara, Uzbekistan. Like many, she started her way to big-time sports at a very young age and, thanks to hard training, already at the age of 13 she won gold in the all-around at the USSR Junior Championship, opening her way to the national team of the already on the verge of collapse of the Soviet Union. Her first international success came in 1991 at the Indianapolis World Championships, where she won a gold medal in floor exercise and team competition and a silver medal in vault. In 1992, as part of the unified team of post-Soviet countries, Oksana went to Barcelona for her first Olympic Games, where she won gold in the team event. It is no secret that sports sponsorship in the post-Soviet countries left much to be desired, and therefore, after the triumphant victory, Oksana, along with her teammates, had to go on a tour organized by the Swedish company Tess. The fees were very decent, but, unfortunately, just a year later the group broke up, and the athletes went to their republics. Oksana returned to her native Uzbekistan to represent her homeland in the international gymnastics arena. Despite the terrible and sometimes traumatic conditions, Oksana still managed to prepare a decent program and go to the Olympic Games. Despite the fact that Chusovatina was the strongest gymnast in Uzbekistan at the 1996 Olympics held in Atlanta, she did not manage to take a single prize podium, even in her crown vault. In 1997, Oksana went to the Asian Games in Hiroshima, where she met her future husband, the Asian champion in Greco-Roman wrestling, Bakadir Kurbanov. Two years later, the couple had a son, the boy was named Ailishir. Just four months after the birth of her first child, Oksana returned to the gym again to prepare for the 2000 Olympics in Sydney. But there, too, failure awaited her. In 2002, when Oksana and her husband were returning home from South Korean Busan, which hosted the 14th Asian Games, they were suddenly informed that their son had been taken to the hospital with severe internal bleeding. Leukemia, namely such a diagnosis, was made to Ailisher in Uzbekistan then they did not know how to treat. But the sports community did not leave the family in trouble. Shana and Peter Bruggeman, head coaches of the Toyota Club in Cologne, invited Oksana and her husband to join their team and became the main guarantors of the loan for Ailisher's treatment at the Cologne University Hospital. All the time of treatment, the athlete trained and performed in Germany, and all the prize money, of course, went to pay for her son's treatment. In 2003, the Uzbek authorities stepped into the situation and released Oksana from the national team so that she could continue to represent Germany on the gymnastic platforms. But German laws required a minimum of three years of residence on its territory in order to obtain citizenship, and without citizenship, Chusovatina could not enter the national team. Therefore, from 2003 to 2006, Oksana trained in Germany, but continued to represent Uzbekistan at the international level, including at the fourth Olympic Games for themselves in Athens. In 2006, Oksana finally received German citizenship and, having easily passed the difficult qualifying competitions, became part of the German national team. In the same year, she brought bronze to the national team in her favorite vault. The following year, she took gold in the all-around at the German national championships, silver at her first European championship in the vault, and with her gold in the vault helped her team take 10th place at the world championships in Stuttgart, which allowed the German team to go to Beijing 2008 Olympics in full force. So Chusovatina, at the age of 33, went to the 5th Olympic Games in her career, where she did not disappoint and brought the national team silver in the vault. This medal was Germany's first Olympic medal in artistic gymnastics since 1939. 
In the same year, Elisher's illness receded and Oksana was able to exhale. When I found out that things were getting better, I suddenly realized that I felt the strength in myself not only to train, but I could still achieve something on the platform. Oksana shared her memories with reporters. After the games in Beijing, Chusovatina experienced a number of serious injuries. She had to undergo surgery on both shoulders and an Achilles tendon rupture, but nevertheless, Oksana was able to recover and secure her participation in the 2012 London Olympics with a number of victories, in which the gymnast became fifth in the vault. And that's all? You may ask, but I will answer you that Oksana became the fifth of the best gymnasts in the world at the age of 37, which, compared to the average age of gymnasts, is amazing in itself. After London, Chusovatina decided to return to her native Uzbekistan, which she had missed for a long time. At first, Oksana tried to combine her training with the position of head coach of the Uzbekistan national team. But it did not last long, and the gymnast left coaching. Having easily passed the selection and prepared for the performance a jump that no one had done before, the gymnast went to her seventh Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. In Brazil, Chusovatina took only seventh place in the vault, but the whole world admired her perseverance, willpower, and spirit. She entered the Guinness Book of Records as the only gymnast in the world who took part in seven Olympic Games in a row. At the age of 41 years and 56 days, she became the oldest participant in the Olympic gymnastics competition and the first active athlete in history to be inducted into the International Artistic Gymnastics Hall of Fame. An amazing woman and athlete, in spite of everything, continued to train and perform after the Rio Games. In 2018, the legendary gymnast won several World Cup medals and took silver in the Asian Games. At the 2019 World Championships, Chusovatina announced that she plans to compete at the Tokyo Games, the eighth of her career. The pandemic and an additional year of preparation did not stop Oksana Having passed all the tests, she took part in her 8th Olympics at the age of 46. Chusovatina announced the end of her sports career after the failure at the Tokyo Games. But two months later, she decided to return to the sport and began to prepare for the Asian Games 2022, saying that she could not end her career without an Olympic medal for her native Uzbekistan. The return of a truly great athlete turned out to be triumphant. On March 4, 2022, the gymnast sensationally won gold in the vault at the second stage of the World Cup in Doha, beating competitors twice or even three times younger than her. At 46, the legendary gymnast continues to prove by her example that nothing is impossible. Who knows, maybe we will see Oksana Chusovatina at the Games in Paris in 2024. And then no one knows how things will turn out. The main advantages of Chusovatina, stability, and experience no one will take away. Of course, this will be a miracle, but the very participation of a gymnast at such an age in top competitions of such a level cannot be called anything other than a miracle. Do not forget to write comments, put likes, and subscribe to the channel, they talk about sports here.